It's finally here, folks. Elon Musk has finally announced ChatGPT's competitor. Grok. And it's wild. XAI, the company behind Grok, was founded in March 2023. Its stated goal is to understand the true nature of the universe. Okay, Elon, that should be real easy. The company aims to delve deeper into the mysteries of the cosmos and gain profound insights into its workings through cutting-edge research and development in AI. Unsurprisingly, the tech world has been abuzz with the arrival of Grok. XAI launched Grok with the following announcement. Grok is an AI modeled after the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, so intended to answer almost anything, and far harder, even suggest what questions to ask. Grok is designed to answer questions with a bit of wit, and has a rebellious streak, so please don't use it if you hate humor. What's not to love so far? The term grok means to understand intuitively or by empathy, which is perfect considering this chatbot was made to be more human-like. And through X, formerly known as Twitter, grok has real-time knowledge of the world. This means that grok can provide up-to-date responses to even the most unconventional questions. Whether you're looking for the latest news or seeking answers to complex queries, it's chicken and egg time, folks. But what truly sets Grok apart is its personality. Most chatbots provide straightforward responses, right? Well, you might not be surprised to hear that Grok is designed to give sarcastic responses. Like that wasn't a surprise. See what we did there? If you use Grok in fun mode, you can expect a whole lot of laughs. Who said the internet had to be so serious? Tell us what you think, team. Is the world ready for a sarcastic chatbot? Is Grok gonna cause issues with political correctness? Check out some of these Grok responses. You're not gonna find these on GPT or BART. That's a fight lots of people wanna see. Who do you think would win? Leave us a comment. Poor old GPT. That guy got roasted good and proper. On a more serious note, one user also asked Grok to check and analyze his ex account. They ask Grok to figure out their best performing posts and to give them suggestions on what to post using this analysis. Grok responded with a very specific suggestion and gave reasons for its suggestion. This is a game changer for content creators who need inspiration and struggle to constantly come up with content that's on the pulse. One thing's very clear, Grok has a great sense of humor. And jokes aside, it seems to give pretty decent responses too. According to XAI's statement, Grok is still a beta product, and it was built on just two months of training, so it's not in the best position yet. But they claim it'll get better with each passing week. In order to use Grok, you've got to be a verified X user and have a premium subscription. Then you need to get an invitation to the closed beta version. Currently, you'll have to apply for their waitlist program to be able to get that invitation. Once you've been invited, you can sign up for the early access program through the official website of Grok AI. To do that, you'll have to sign up on their website using your X account. Currently, the early access is being given to X premium users, but it's expected to be released for general use soon. So if we compare Grok to ChatGPT, perhaps the best known AI chatbot out there, how does it fare? GPT was launched back in November 2022 and is far more established and has been trained on massive datasets something that Grok cannot claim yet. However, the free version of GPT, which most people use, doesn't have real-time access to information, which makes it very limiting and is perhaps just one of the reasons that many users are turning to Google Bard or Bing. By comparison, because Grok is connected to X, it has direct links to a world of information. In fact, all the latest news from X users across the world. And the information from X is constantly updated by as diverse a cross-section of humanity as you could possibly imagine. So instead of relying on preloaded training data sets, the information you'll get from Grok could just as likely be as raw and unfiltered as a carrot and ginger smoothie. This could of course present problems with misinformation, but you could equally conclude that GPT or any other chatbot comes with pre-existing bias. At least Grok may have some authenticity about it. Do we want sanitized information, or can we take a little reality, even if it bites? Let us know your thoughts. Grok also has a more flexible and interactive interface, which allows users to ask and answer questions, as well as generate and edit content. And for this reason, Grok may well attract more users and developers who are looking for a more versatile and intelligent AI system. In the interest of providing a fully rounded argument, it's worth noting that although the free version of GPT does have its limitations, 
The paid version, GPT-4 has a far higher token and parameter count than Grok. This means that Grok falls way behind in terms of generating and processing information, and it also struggles by comparison when considering how much input it can handle at one time. Despite all these differences, both Grok and ChatGPT aim to be major players in the AI space. They represent the ongoing evolution of AI chatbots and their increasing importance in our daily lives. Remember when we used to just Google it? Not anymore, folks.